three short months ago, if you stood in front of a bank or a supermarket with a face mask, you would be into a pile of trouble. Coronavirus has changed our way of life. In the last three months of lockdown, we have gone from no masks to accepting the fact that wearing masks is highly effective in halting the spread of this potentially deadly virus. And yet, for many, this seems not to have sunk in. In stores around Toronto, too many shoppers are still unmasked and many still disregard the rules of physical distancing. Even more astoundingly, store staff have been seen without masks. And during this past week, many Torontonians taking advantage of the beautiful weather congregated at Cherry Beach in the hundreds. What's the matter with us? Do we want a second wave of COVID, which health professionals warn may be far worse than what we have already suffered? If people refuse to do the right thing to safeguard lives and health, then governments must step in to regulate behavior and impose heavy fines. This is not the preferred option, but given the ignorance or callousness of too many, it may very well become the only option. Bernie Farber, CJR.